If you're a softwood tree between the ages of 50 and 80, live on a farm, and this machine shows up on your doorstep, you're in for a bad day. This is a feller buncher, a machine that revolutionized the lumber industry. And chances are, it cut down the wood that built your house and made your morning paper. It does the work of dozens of men, cutting up to 4,000 trees in a single day. One of these machines can clear about 100 football fields worth of trees in a week. All with a flick of a joystick. Let's see how it works. The feller buncher has two simple jobs, felling and bunching. Cut trees with a big saw, pick them up with a long, powerful arm, and set them down gently. First up, the blade. The feller uses a high-speed disc saw with indents to carry away wood chips and teeth that are wider than the disc. If disc and teeth were the same width, pressure from the tree would sandwich the blade and the whole thing would grind to a halt. The teeth are made from carbide, a super strong alloy. Strong enough to rip through a half meter of dense, resin-soaked trees. The teeth cut through fibers inside the tree with these points. Then rip out the weak middle section. As the tree is cut, it slides onto this holding plate. Without it, the tree's weight would freeze the disc and burn out its motor. The feller buncher needs distance from the trees to give its operator a clear view for a level cut and to keep him and the machine out of harm's way. For that, you need a hydraulic arm that's strong enough to pick up and set down a five-ton tree from eight meters away. The hydraulic arm has two sections, the stick boom and the main boom. Getting these to work together is the key to success out here. With a single joystick, the operator moves and adjusts the boom's two sections to land in the right spot and make the perfect cut. Okay, you're through the tree. Why not just yell, timber, let it go? Falling trees damage other trees. They're extremely dangerous. And out here, to be efficient, you need the wood out of the way and neatly stacked for transport. To do all that, you need the hydraulic boom and its claws to be powerful, and you need a body that's not gonna tip over. As the claw grabs, the machine stabilizes itself. It floats on a leveling system that allows the machine to bob and weave on a series of hydraulic cylinders. It's kind of wrestling with the tree as it picks it up and sets it down. With a pivot point near the cab, most of the weight is back here. A great counterbalance to keep the whole operation upright. This self-leveling machine operates on slopes up to 45 degrees. Handy when you're working the side of a mountain. Its tracks provide a great grip without wrecking the forest floor. So tree farms like this one can be replanted. The machine's 31 tons are evenly distributed over six and a half square meters. At any point, its heaviest impact is less than five kilograms per square centimeter. That's less than the pressure you put on the ground as you walk. 
When the Feller Buncher arrived on the logging scene in the 70s, it changed the industry forever. The old style lumberjack is a dinosaur now, and a machine that looks like one replaced him.